This is William Eggleston. He is widely known for his contributions to color photography. In 1973, he learned about dye transfer printing. This is a process that separates an image into layers that contain each individual color. These layers are then transferred onto the final printing material. The process can result in extremely vibrant and colorful images, which Eggleston took full advantage of. Critics were appalled by many of his images, since color photography at the time was reserved for things like in-your-face corporate advertisements. One of Eggleston's most notable photographs is known as the Red Ceiling. He creates a feeling of tense and unease. This is due to the perspective being used. You're almost at the level of the light bulb, and the overwhelming presence of red can feel somewhat oppressive. Eggleston used red because it was a hard color to work with at the time, and he wanted the challenge of getting a photo that used lots of red. Another photograph of his is a tricycle in Memphis, Tennessee, where he grew up. While the red ceiling had a vibrant color palette with the deep red, this photo takes on a more subtle color palette with the dead grass and diffused lighting. By taking from a low vantage point, he was able to make this bike seem larger and more grand, almost like how a child would imagine it. This image could also be seen as an adult looking back on their childhood, as the bike is well rusted in many ways, especially on the top where the brown rust contrasts with the white handlebars. This photo from Eggleston is of a drink being enjoyed on a plane ride. This is a great example of how he implemented lighting when creating his photographs. The front light from the sky illuminates the drink and casts a shadow that is quite pleasing to look at. The colors work well here. The white wall, the brown seat, and the sky are all quite soft in comparison to the high contrasted red-orange drink. Eggleston's mindset when taking a photo is to assume a neutral stance. He photographed the world around him, even if it seemed trivial. For example, this image is literally his own fridge that he photographed. Many of his works are aesthetically evaluative, as he experimented with how color could be used in photography, especially with his uh, dye transfer printing technique. He has left a legacy of using color in photography that impacts photographers today.